delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Hello, senior high students! Good day! Welcome in today's episode of Lantaw Compre, a television-based instruction of DepEd, Division of Tagum City. I am your teacher, Filipinas in Escoton, and I will be here to help you develop your skills in food and beverage services. Is your learning material ready? How about your pen and paper? Great! Let's begin a fun and exciting lesson! Welcome to the world of food and beverage services. This is an exploratory course which leads you to food and beverage services national certificate level 2 or NC2. For this lesson, you are expected to demonstrate knowledge and skills in food and beverage service in relation to attending, monitoring kitchen and dining service points. How well do you know about the process in food and beverage services and responsibilities of its personnel? Let us try to find out by answering the following questions. Are you now ready? Here's the instructions. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Do not leave any item unanswered. You have 5 seconds for every item to answer. Did I make myself clear? If so, let's start. Statement number 1. Plans, organizes, directs, and controls the delivery of service in all outlets, guest rooms, and banquets, and sees to it that policies and standards are complied with. A. Captain Waiter B. Waiter C. Food and Beverage Service Manager and D. Head Waiter The correct answer is C. Food and Beverage Service Manager Number 2 The following are the duties and responsibilities of a busboy except one A. Prepares or mixes alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages according to prescribed standards B. Cleared soil dishes, dirt and mess C. Does other errands in the dining room? Or D. Changes soiled ashtray? The correct answer is letter A. 
How many hours is the absolute maximum time for leaving prepared foods at room temperature? A. 2 B. 4 C. 6 and D. 8 The correct answer is letter A. 2 Number 4 The following are the necessary preparations before the start of the operation except one. A. Wipes tablewares. B. Refill salt and pepper and other condiments. C. Check and restock service station and cease to eat that the poor staff is maintained. Or D. Having a conversation with colleagues regarding the personal matters. The correct answer is Letter D. Having a conversation with colleagues regarding personal matters. Number 5. Plans, directs, and coordinates banquets held within the establishment. A. Captain Waiter B. Head Waiter C. Banquet Manager and D. Room Service Captain the correct answer is letter C, Banquet Manager. Good job, class! I knew you could do it! Welcome once again to Lesson 10 of Module 8 in the first quarter of Food and Beverage Services in C2, Liaise between Kitchen and Service Areas. Food and Beverage Service among Hotels and food outlets are handled by the Food and Beverage Service Department under the command responsibility of the Food and Beverage Manager. Outlets with huge and complex operations usually have more specialized division of labor. When delivering the order to the kitchen, details about any special orders must be passed on to the appropriate person immediately and clearly. You need to bear in mind that you must take the time and make the effort to get your message across correctly. How can you achieve this? Make sure that you have got their full attention when relaying the order. Also, make sure to point out the special request on the actual docket physically locating written information that you have put on the docket. Likewise, Ensure that you verbally describe what is needed clearly and accurately. A response should be heard from the chef after you have placed the order. If no response is heard, repeat the order. If possible, get them to repeat it back to you to verify they have understood what is required. While you need to ensure the special order is understood, you must be sensitive to other things that are going on. It may pay you to hold off for 30 seconds or a minute while the kitchen person clears some meals that are ready, helps with plating a large order, or remedies an immediate problem. Remember that teamwork, not individual plays, are the key to overall service success. This time, let us determine subunits that attend to specific functions. 
Each unit is supervised by supervisors or section heads. Among the subunits are First, BARS, which is headed by the bar supervisor or bar captain. Second, Food Outlets, that is supervised by outlet supervisors. Third, Room Service, which is under the responsibility of the room service supervisor or captain. And lastly, Banquet Service, that is under the supervision of the banquet supervisor. How about human resources in the food service industry? They are classified into managers, supervisors, and operations personnel. Based on the descriptions, which among these describes the role of managers, supervisors, and operations personnel? Managers are responsible for the effective utilization of the traditional resources of men, materials, money, and machines. Supervisors are the link between the management and the operation staff at the floor level to ensure that the resources allocated are effectively utilized. Operation personnel are the frontline performers of operations and rely heavily on technical and customer service skills. The workforce requirement for food and beverage service depends on the volume of food orders and the seating capacity of the food outlet. Each food outlet is usually handled by waiters, food attendant or receptionist, busboys, cashier, and bartender or bar waiter. The dining area is supervised by the dining supervisor. If the outlet is big, with more than 100 seating capacity, it is advisable to divide the area into stations with each station supervised by a captain waiter. This time, let us know more the duties and responsibilities of food and beverage service personnel. 1. Food and Beverage Service Manager A food and beverage service manager plans, organizes, directs, and controls the delivery of service in all outlets, guest rooms, and banquets, and sees to it that policies and standards are complied with. Another is Head Waiter. A head waiter oversees food and beverage operations in his assigned outlet, ensures the service is carried out in accordance with prescribed standards and policies. Then, there is Captain Waiter. A Captain Waiter oversees the setup and delivery of service in his or her assigned station. We also have Receptionist. A receptionist welcomes and greets customers at the entrance and escorts them to their tables. And of course, waiter. A waiter takes and serves food and beverage order according to prescribed standards of service. Suppose you are a waiter. You have specific duties. First, look after the necessary preparations before the start of the operation. Wipes tablewares, refill salt and pepper and other condiments. Check and restock service station and sees to it that the bar stock is maintained and set up the table and installed required facilities. Second, you have to study the menu and familiarizes them with house specialties. Then, you will take and serve orders. You are also responsible for welcoming the guests 
Aside from that, you attend the guest's bill settlement. And then, you assist in clearing the table. If there are guest inquiries, requests, and complaints, you will address it. And lastly, you will perform side duties assigned by the supervisor. Another staff is busboy. A busboy is a dining room helper and runner. His specific duties are A. Assist waiter in mise en place preparation. B. Serves bread and butter, coffee or tea. C. Places orders to the kitchen and picks up orders. D. Cleared soil dishes, dirt and mess. E. Changes soiled ashtray. F. Fills and refills water goblet with water. And G. Does other errands in the dining room. 7. Another is bartender. A bartender prepares, mixes alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages according to prescribed standards. Also, we have barboy. He acts as runner and helper in the bar. Also, there is a room service captain. A room service captain has the primary responsibility to provide friendly and efficient service of food and beverage items to all guests in the guest room. Lastly is a banquet manager. A banquet manager plans, directs, and coordinates banquets held within the establishment. Great job! Thanks for sharing your idea for today's lesson. Congratulations for doing your best! At this point, let us try to summarize the day's lesson by answering these questions. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. The one who plans, organizes, directs, and sees to it that policies and standards are complied with. The correct answer is food and beverage manager. Number two, who takes and serves food and beverage order according to prescribed standards of service. The correct answer is waiter. Number three, who welcomes and greets customers at the entrance and escorts them to their tables? The correct answer is receptionist. Number four, who prepares, mixes alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages according to prescribed standards? The correct answer is bartender. Number five, he is the dining room helper and runner. The correct answer is busboy. Number six, who oversees the setup and delivery of service in his or her assigned station? The correct answer is captain waiter. Number seven, who acts as runner and helper in the bar? The correct answer is bar boy. Number eight, who oversees food and beverage operations in his assigned outlet ensures that service is carried out in accordance with standards. The correct answer is head waiter. Number nine, its primary responsibility is to provide a friendly and efficient service of food and beverage items to all guests in the guest room. The correct answer is room service captain. Number 10. Who plans, directs, and coordinates banquets held within the establishment? The correct answer is banquet manager. Congratulations! I knew you could do it!
Now, let us ponder to this thought. You have learned that establishing a good working relationship among co-personnel is one of the important things to deliver quality service to the customers and the success of a food and beverage service operation depends on the way it's organized to achieve its goals. In your home, try to apply what you have learned in this lesson. Liaise between kitchen and service areas. Demonstrate your skills on how to attend and monitor the kitchen and your dining area with the help of your mother or any member of the family. And that concludes our lesson for today. See you again in the next episode of Lantau Compre School on Air. I am your teacher, Filipinas and Escobar. Please bear in mind that courteous treatment will make a customer a walking advertisement.